So this video is about the insecurities that women feel if they come here from a foreign country and they do not have a solid, solid visa with a man. Okay, so this is from Reddit. This man made this last year. This is going to be a part one and a part two because there is an update. Okay, so he asked, am I the a-hole for making my girlfriend leave the country? This is my first time posting on Reddit, so forgive any errors or if the format is weird, I also can't give too many details as my girlfriend and a lot of close friends are avid Redditors. I, 28 year old male, have been dating my girlfriend, 27 female, for five years. We met in college where she was an international student. She started working after graduating while I am currently doing a master's. Her company was sponsoring her visa until they got bought out and she got laid off. She was given a limited time to find a new employer to sponsor her and a new visa and it really stressed her out. She was applying for jobs every day and did a lot of interviews, but unfortunately wasn't able to get an offer. She really wanted to stay since she loves the place and I would still be here um, in it. I'm sorry, in the country. And this is the reason why I'm not necessarily calling him a passport bro. I'm more or less speaking from the side of the woman who might come here and need a sponsor or a visa. While I was out with the buddy, he suggested that I sponsor her visa since we have been in a relationship for quite some time. I love her and I didn't want to see her so stressed out, so I told her about the idea. She was hesitant at first. She said she didn't want me to think that she was with me so I could be with her to, um, for permanent residence or citizenship to the country. I wanted her to stay and I wanted to do it. We consulted an immigration consultant and decided to do the paperwork on our own. She was she was the one who mostly looked into the stuff we needed to prepare. She applied for jobs, but not as urgently as she used to. It took a while since we never really had anything joint. We lived together and split the bills on our own. She had saved up enough to be okay for a while. I had to fill out some paperwork to be her sponsor and felt uneasy about it. I did want her to stay, but felt like it was too much. Eventually she was done with her part and all that was left was mine. I finally told her that I didn't want to go through with it. She was very upset and asked why. I told her that I suggested the idea because I didn't want to see her stressed out all the time and that I eventually realized that I shouldn't have to be responsible for her. We had a long talk where I told her that I still want to be in a relationship with her, but I just don't want to be forced to be responsible for her. She said she felt very hurt by what I said. This will definitely need a second part. So hold tight. Okay, part two. Things changed and she didn't really talk to me after. She kept applying for jobs and attending interviews, but eventually her visa expired. Before she left, I told her I love her and I really want her to come back. However, she told me that she sees me differently after the things I told her. It has been a few weeks since she left. I miss her cooking her presence and being able to spend time with her. I still want a future with her. However, our close friends have been telling me that I was an a-hole. I disagree and I think they are biased. So here I am asking Reddit what it thinks. Am I the a-hole? Edit. I have read through a lot of comments and everyone seems to think I'm the a-hole here. To those asking what my responsibilities would be, I would have been res financially responsible for her for three years. If she gets any government assistance, social wel welfare, I would have to pay it back. Also, I can't sponsor anyone else until the three years have passed. Also, I listed what I missed about her in no particular order. I, li I listed that I missed her cooking first, but it doesn't mean I don't miss her. To the people who said I'm probably an immigrant too, what does that have to do with anything? My parents moved here to where we are now, so here I am. I still stand by what I said. No one, um, no one I know has to do anything like this. It just doesn't feel normal. I would eventually um, have a home with her, but I don't think anyone should have to be responsible for another person's decisions or circumstances. It's just gaslighting if you convince someone that they should be. I don't know anyone, um, if anyone will see this edit since it has been a few days. Okay, so that is part one. There was an update six months later. Hold. Okay, so this is an update a few months later. I've um, posted about my ex-girlfriend and why we broke up, so I won't get into that here. We dated for almost five years before we broke up. A couple of weeks ago, I received a sum of money from my ex-girlfriend. This happened while I was sleeping as we're in different time zones, so I only saw it when I woke up. 
a message was included with the deposit that said, hope this helped pay off some of my student loans. It wasn't a huge sum, but still significant. So I tried to contact her, but I couldn't reach her. Fast forward to last week, a mutual friend of ours wanted to check up on how she was doing, but they couldn't reach her either. They Google searched her name and the country she was in. And through Google Translate, they found out that she had unalived herself. No one knows exactly when she died, but most probably soon after she sent me the money and no one could find anything about a funeral either. She wasn't close to her family and didn't have that many family members in her country. Other friends found out about it too. And since then, everyone has been blaming me for his for her death. So he's devastated and now he's asking it. Um, how to get his life back is basically the rest of the, the question. This was such a sad reading.